Hi everyone, I'm Hayley Victoria and welcome back to my crime and policing channel. In today's session, we are looking at something very topical and that's because it's resurfaced again in the news. I'm talking about trolls. And I don't mean the kind of trolls that have big fluffy hair and sing songs and dance around or whatever. I'm not talking about the trolls in Harry Potter or other fantasy novels who go stomping around and stuff in the wilderness. No, I'm talking about internet trolls. And the scary thing about internet trolls is behind that is a real person. Someone who's clearly very, very, I don't know, sad about their own selves. They've got to project that onto other people on the internet. Now, thankfully, some amendments that were made to the Malicious Communications Act a couple of years ago mean that you can now face prison time for being a troll. And we're going to look at a case of that later on. And this is why it sprung to mind and it's quite topical at the moment. So an internet troll is somebody who sends like abusive or offensive material to somebody online. That's like your basic definition. Um, so if you think about, you might have experienced it yourself where you're online or something, and someone's just sending you like nasty comms or offensive material. They're trolls and they're very, very sad people. But I don't feel sorry for people who try and make other people's lives misery. That's not my job. So I'm going to read you now some um, something from www.gov.uk about what it means now with the changes in legislation to support this. So, as I mentioned, the Criminal Justice and Court Bill amended Section 1 of the Malicious Communications Act in 1988. And that was to make it an either way offence to, to do this. So an either way offence, as we know, means it either goes to the Magistrates Court or the Crown Court, depending on the severity of the crime. So your Magistrates Court is for your lower level crimes and your Crown Court is for your biggies. That's your serious crimes, so go to Crown. Um, and like I said, the maximum imprisonment time is two years. And that's a long time, isn't it? Just for sending nasty messages online. So the offence covers sending a letter, electronic communication, or article of any description to another person which is in nature or which conveys a message which is indecent, grossly offensive or conveys a threat or false information and that's for the purpose to cause someone distress or anxiety and um, that's to the recipient um, or to any other person whom it's intended that his contents should be communicated. So that's the first bit, that's section one of the Malicious Communications Act 1988. So government amendments to the bill um, tabled at the report stage to the offence in section 127 of the Communications Act 2003 has also extended the time limit for prosecutions for offences under that section uh, to three years from commission of the offence, which is good because that's a lot longer than it was. Um, as long as this is also within six months of the day, which evidence which the prosecution considers sufficient to justify proceedings comes to prosecutors knowledge so you can backtrack three years as long as there's something within about six months um okay so section 127 covers amongst other things here we go again the sending by means of public electronic communications uh, a message or other matter that is grossly offensive or indecent obscene or menacing of character and then you're looking there at a maximum penalty under 127 of six months in prison or a fine of up to £5,000. So that's two things it can support is there in relation to internet trolling. So why am I talking about trolls now? I mean, I've not been targeted. It's not as if I'm like having a retaliation message. I'm talking about it because it's fresh in the news. In fact, in my hometown, I mean, come on girl, you're doing me, you're doing me bad here. In my hometown of Sheffield, where I'm from, um, this girl, Kate Bell, became a troll. So I'm sure when she was younger, she didn't think, when I grow up, I'm going to be a troll. But that's what she became. And how awful is it? Going back to like the labelling theory and things, that all in the media, everywhere, this person is now dubbed a troll. Right? It's not what you want on your job CV, is it? I am a troll. But anyway, this person, this troll, um, is facing 15 months in prison for her crimes. And they are disgusting, by the way. So I'm not supporting this in any way. She's where she should be. I'm glad she's been prosecuted because of what she's done to other people. So the effect of her trolling was traumatic for the people that she targeted. In fact, probably one of the worst ones of two horrendous things she said was when um, so a woman's husband just suddenly died 
and on the news article she was like I served him right or you deserve to die this type of thing that's horrendous and bearing in mind she doesn't know these people never met him in her life but she's putting these comments on just to upset people there was another post where a 15 year old girl had gone missing and she's like oh it serves it right if she's dead what and again she doesn't know these people it's just nasty things to like gauge your reaction maybe it's a psychological thing and they just want attention i don't know but what i do know is that it's not nice it's not fair and it's just not cricket so if you are sending these kind of communications you're now going to face two years in prison which is good um, the funny thing about this case as well with Katie Bell is that she's already been told off for this and she was told to stop. She was given like a stop order and she carried on doing it, which is why she went to prison. So clearly she didn't learn a lesson the first time. She probably thought it was funny. I don't know. But now she's in prison and hopefully when she comes out, she'll have learned a lesson and she will stop being a troll. There are other cases as well. So there was a news article not long ago in that one year alone. Um, there were 1,209 people charged with being a troll for internet troll offences. 150 of those pre faced prison time. The others had fines. So this is how prevalent it is. It's like three convictions a day or something. Mad. Thankfully, though, with these new laws in place and hopefully now with this adapted legislation where it's, more, it's treated more seriously in court, people will think twice and stop doing it. I think there should be more um, education around this because I don't think people realise that what they're doing is a criminal offence. I think that's something that we should promote more. Maybe on these platforms where people are talking to each other, have a warning on there. Maybe if they get reported, have a warning saying, no, this is a criminal offence. We have got your details. Your name and address is on this site, you potato. Maybe that's something we should do more maybe in schools and things as well, educating people that not only is this harmful to other people um, and the community, it's harmful to you as well. Because with that on your record, you're not going to get a decent job, are you? People are going to think, you're not a very nice person. So yeah, have a think about your actions before you do things if you are thinking about a career in trollism. But if not, there's a little bit of detail for you now. Thank you for watching. Um, stay safe, look after each other. Please don't commit any crimes.